Hello everyone and welcome back. I have the fish house camper hooked up to the back of the truck. I'm heading up to the campground. Well, I've been pulling her for about, I don't know, 40 minutes now. It takes a while to get used to pulling something that big. The place we're going is on Lake Vermilion in Minnesota. It's about 100 miles north of the house. Never fished this lake before. Well, I made it up here. Didn't film anything on the way up. It's just too, uh, just held on to the steering wheel. <laughs> Went in and paid. Real nice people. He said I won't have a problem getting in on my, I'm on site 31. This is Hoodoo Point. And that is Lake Vermilion. 40,000 acres. 365 islands. It's really warm. It's like 85 degrees out there. But it's going to rain, you know, rain coming with a cold front. But right now it's hot.
Well, I got everything, you know, pretty much set up. I'm not like unpacking anything until Melissa gets here. Got both TVs working on the antenna, and we got three channels here. <laughs> talked to Melissa on her ride home from work and now she just got home. She'll get the rest of her stuff packed up, get the dogs packed up. I had, I brought one water hose <laughs> and it's about four feet sh uh, short of making it to the water for the camper. So then I called up the office and asked if they had them for sale there because that place that I stayed in my work camper, they would have hoses for sale and they didn't. They had one I could borrow, but I, I just, we have another one. I looked at it this morning. I put it, I grabbed it, and then I said, I'm not gonna need that. I grabbed another cord for the electric, and all I would have needed is a three or four foot cord here. <laughs> so I have 100 feet of cord, and 50 feet of hose, and I need about 55 feet. So anyway, she grabbed that right now. She'll bring that up here, and then we'll have water. And I'm trying to put this king cooker together. It's got less to do than that gas grill, but still it's kind of complicated. Are you there now? Yeah, probably.
I was just talking to Melissa on her ride up here. She's right now maybe 40, 45 minutes away. I just called up and they're going to drop off three bundles of firewood. You have to, you can't bring firewood in. And I mean, I could have snuck some in, but what's the big deal? So maybe we'll have a fire tonight. We'll see because it really looks like, you know, today's Thursday. Tomorrow's going to be okay for part of the day. I think there might even be some showers go through tonight. Saturday looks like a total washout. So, and Sunday we leave, so if we're going to have a fire tonight, it'd be the night. I pulled my antenna down pretty much as far as it would go and strapped it to a tree. <laughs> and I do have one crawfish trap in here. Didn't catch anything on All I have in there is cat food. Uh, Jeff Ryan, he's been out here and but in a whole other part of the lake. Puts it in about six or eight feet of water, I think he said, and he was catching them. Still not really any size to them, but uh, we'll see if I put them out there. It's hard to say. It's a big lake. I got a small boat, so we'll have to watch and see what happens with the wind and the weather. Melissa got more of these solar lights. I don't know if you guys watched the last farmhouse video where I showed the other ones that she bought. I started putting these together and these are supposed to like fall down like <laughs> and I got frustrated I told myself Melissa can do it but maybe I'll do a little bit more when I'm waiting for her I got all the other ones set up already I had a, the mosquitoes are just starting to come out and I've had a lot of questions on that tent video about how I light this and I got this tip and you burn coffee grounds, smolder them, and it really did work to keep the mosquitoes away. These are just a couple of old cat food cans and some bags of coffee that we have that have holes in them. So you put it into a metal container and I just kind of dome it up at the top. And you can just take your lighter and light it and hold it there for about a minute, you know, burning it around and stuff. But I found that if you just take some lighter fluid Get a little bit on the top like that. And then just light it and let it burn out by itself. And then uh, it'll just sit there and smolder for hours making the smoke and it really does keep the mosquitoes away. You can even go in when it's burning like this and then just kind of shake it up a little bit.
I don't see colors very well, but Melissa said that's a beautiful sunset. I have to get out here and take some video. Well, it's 11 o'clock and it's time for bed. A little bit of light rain falling right now. Good morning, everybody. I just drove into town, which is five minutes away at the most. Got some a couple dozen crawlers and a dozen leeches. You ready to go fishing? You look like you're ready for some more sleep. I am. <laughs> Joni. They have, they're not bad size either. Well, so far there's no fish in this lake. <laughs> not even a bite. But I mean, 40,000 acre lake, we had no clue where to go. Melissa is going to make fajitas. I need to season this. Oh, 
spices? Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait a Well, for all the hours of fishing we did today, not one bite, not a nibble on any of the stuff that we were throwing. We trolled, we used um, leech with a bobber, minnow in a bobber, <laughs> not one nibble. And now there's some pretty big storms coming, so I want to get the boat up on shore. So right now there's like a 91% chance of 1.26 inches of rain. I want to be able to just pull the drain plug and let it go, not have to scoop it out. That should be good. It's out of the water. Also got seasick when we were up there. That's why we came back in. There was too much, too much boat traffic and everything was up and down. Easier to heat that back up again, I think. I'm not sure. They're kind of falling apart. We're right here. Let's see if it'll play. It's raining down at the farmhouse right now. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to get something here, though. Well, some thunderstorms went through, but it really didn't do much. Now it's lightly raining out. 
Got to shut off the air conditioner finally and hung out inside for a little bit and now I think she has on Night of the Comet on DVD. And I'm gonna cook up three burgers. Tomorrow we're gonna do steaks. I think we're gonna do one corn on the cob. I'm not real sure what all we're having, but I know we're having steaks. Because we're definitely not having any fish fry fishing on this lake. Okay everyone, it's just about 10.30. It's raining pretty good right now. Time for bed. Good morning everybody. Just putting together this bobber grill because I'm going to make steaks for lunch. I'm not real sure I like that charcoal container in there. I mean I'm going to be cooking up, there's three steaks in, the, in that package, but here they're not getting any, I don't know. I guess I'll try it today, but I might end up taking that out. I've never had a little grill that had that. Place to sit down. Looks smooth about a half a mile back. We'll take a look. Bob! Yes, sir. Get him ready. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. 
That thing's alive. I saw it, sir. Chase me. That thing's alive. It's not dead. It's Captain Henry. That thing's alive, sir. Oh, there's like a whole group one there. Yeah. Oh, that's where I'm hearing all the stuff from. Mm -hmm. Some of these people have a nice big lot. Well, you'd be doing some blocking to keep. Tent. Yeah. What are you doing, what? Well, it's Saturday night. It rained pretty much, well, off and on the whole day. So we never went out fishing and it's supposed to be raining in the morning so I want to get the boat on the trailer tonight so I don't have to worry about doing that tomorrow because right now we're in a lull period when there's no rain. All hooked up. Definitely time for a bigger boat. but I want to get these scraps pulled in. I didn't get enough to, to do a boil, but I, you know, it's still a little early in the season here and I didn't want to check it out and see. Got a dozen in that one. That big group of campers down the road, they're doing like a karaoke thing. Well, that one there got quite a few in it. Twenty-seven in that one. So what's that? Twenty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty of them total. If I would have really fit, uh, tried to trap these hard, I could have done pretty good. But this, some of the sizes are still so small this early in the year. So wait another two or three weeks, and prime time.
Okay, everyone, it's a little bit after 10 o'clock. We'll be going to bed soon. Good morning, everybody. We're just picking everything up now, getting it packed away, ready to head home. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It's time to head home. Hoodoo Point Campground. I gotta say, it was a pretty fun time. It's a nice campground. I will see you guys on the next video.